not only does this kid here have a nice mule deer spot, but he's got birds to boot. There's a handful of people that, that like me enough to uh, give me some access here and there. They got huns, quail. Man, that is an old sage plant right there. Look at that thing. This old growth sage is super fun to hunt those birds in. Definitely doesn't make it easy. Hunt birds. Well, why don't you hold up there and I'll push through this thick stuff and see if anything breaks into the open. Yeah! I need that little bit of self-loathing that comes from my first shot. Missing to get the necessary motivation to connect with my second shot. Miss. Oh, ah. <laughs> this is quail hunting, this is what happens. Right-handed shotgun's got me all confused, man. I am shooting quite poorly, which I guess is nothing new. Bunch of quail running out ahead of us. Nice. Sorry, I thought that was, but I think I might've been just looking at a chipmunk. We're just herding chipmunks right now, man. Give me your weight. Your shotgun jammed on me. Well, I gave it to you. Well, come your way, come your way. Did you get that one? Yeah, I got it. There you go. Squeeze and sprint is kind of the best possible reaction when you're dogless. Nice, Steve. Gorgeous. It's always a bummer though at the end of the day. They just look mangled. Even rabbits are rough. If you carry them like this, they're fine. It's a delicate bird, man. These quail only take a few minutes. I've cut them away called spatchcock, so open them along the backbone, we'll split them. And they lay flat. I'm gonna ladle some butter on each one of them. Hit them with a little salt. And I'll cook these birds skin side down or breast down to start. Still running 400 plus degrees inside the grill. And I'm gonna shut the lid for a little while. And quail is just good. You know? Yeah. If you think something's wrong with quail, there's just something wrong with you. I agree. Like your head's not right. <laughs>